Hey guys, all right, we're on the last problem for this section, F424. All right, and we're doing 3D components again. We're in a 3D coordinate system. And we're also determining the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly and express the result as a Cartesian vector. So exactly uh, what we've been doing in the past. We need to just take the force so we're doing a Cartesian vector, so we can't just do 450 times 0.4, okay? But let's do that right off the bat. Let's just see what we get from that. Um, so we have 450. You know, the, the two of, these two vectors are parallel to each other because, that, you know, we, you can see the 3, 4, 5 triangle is the same on both, okay? Times 0.4, okay? So we're, if we're in 2D, that's all we would do, and then boom, we get our um, our couple moment. Okay, so this would be 180 uh, newton meters, and then let's see, it would be yeah, this 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 would just be the magnitude, let's say. Okay, we we don't know the direction. Okay. But now let's do, let's add, let's do what they're asking for. Determine the couple moment acting on the pipe. So we know that in 3D we need to do the distance between the two vectors, okay, which will be 0.4, and then the the vector, the force vector, okay. So let's see. This will be mr, the resultant. What's the distance between both vectors? So we can do the distance. Uh, from A to B, which will be 0.4i. Okay. Plus 0j. Plus 0k. Okay. And then we just, and then we want to cross it with our force vector. Okay. So what's going to be the force vector here? So we're going from A to B, okay, so that's our, that's our distance vector here, and now what's the force, right, well, we know our force will be 450, right, that's the magnitude, and then we know that it's in the Z and Y plane, because of that 3, 4, 5 triangle, so the 3, the 4 is uh, parallel to y, so we know it's going to be four fifths i, sorry j, j not i, and then three fifths in the k direction. Okay, so now let's let's see which direction, negative or positive. So we know it's going to be there's a negative k. Okay, so this will be negative. And then this other vector is pointing in the positive y direction, so that's positive. Okay, so now we're set with that. What's our force? 450 times 4 divided by 5. So it's 0i, 360, uh, j, and then minus 270 K okay so that's what we'll plug in right here right above us so we'll be just gonna skip the I and it's gonna be 360 J minus 270 okay perfect all right so now let's let's just set it up in the terminal like uh, set up the determinant like we've done in the past. Okay, so we have i, j, k. The distance vector goes first, so 0.4i, zero. Actually, you know what? Because I I forgot that we only we only have one vector component in the in the distance vector, and then two components in the force vector. So instead of taking this drawn out approach of the determinant 
let's just do it the way we've done it in the in some of the earlier ones let's just pretty much factor it it's going to be 0 0.4 i crossed with so that's r crossed with f 360j minus 270k okay and this is our f so let's do 0 0.4 times 360 so don't worry about the direction first or yet and then i cross j okay and let's ignore directions so 0.4 if you know if you know what that what that is just go ahead and finish it up so let's go by step by step for everyone else 0.4 times 70 270 and now we're doing i cross k in this one all right so Let's look at our little diagram that I've drawn in the past. I, J, K, I, J, K. So for the first one, it's, it's I cross J. So I'm gonna switch to blue real quick. So it's gonna be I cross J equals K, okay? And if I go in this direction, it's gonna, it's gonna yield a positive. And if I'm going in this direction, it'll yield a negative. So I cross J equals K, positive K, okay? So that equals K. What's I cross K for that next one? Well, let's see. I cross K, so it's gonna be I cross K equals J. Well, because I'm going from right to left, I'm going towards the left, it's gonna be negative. So this is negative All right, and now my resultant moment would be 0.4 times 360, so it's 144K, so it's positive. All right, and then 0.4 times 270, and then negative, negative, go away, and then we have 108 in the J direction. So da -da -da. and that is Newton meters. Alright. So that's the resultant uh, couple moment acting on the pipe. Now let's check the magnitude of this, okay? So let's let's do the magnitude of M with the resultant moment. So it'll be a hundred eight squared plus one forty four squared and the square root of oops square root of that. So by by that I mean what's a hundred eight squared plus one forty four squared. So every time you say magnitude just again square each component, add them up. So each component of the vector, add them up and take the square root. This gives you a hundred and eighty newton meters. And this is exactly what we calculated right from the get-go. We said, if we go back to the very top, I'll do it in red. We we know that if we're in 2D, we could just do the, the force times the distance between them and then just get the magnitude 180. But because they wanted it in Cartesian vector, by doing it like we've done, like we did it early in the beginning, we can determine the direction. So by doing it, with uh, with the cross product, we can determine the actual components of of the of the of the moment vector, and then we already had the magnitude. Okay. All right. I hope those I hope those two pieces kind of click and help you you know understand what you know how to go from vectors to scale uh, to magnitude and, and you know and go back and forth between them. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Hope to see you in the next video. Um, you know, uh, leave some questions or comments below what you would like to see. Um, 
what else uh, should I speak a little louder uh, lower uh, what else should I, do you want the pictures to be a little bigger for you to understand I, I kind of have a PDF copy so these these pictures are gonna be blurry most a lot of the times so I can't really change that but I'll do I'll do my best to accommodate you guys have a good one